The Kamov Cog 50 Black Shark, NATO reporting name, Hoka May is a Soviet, Russian single, seed attack helicopter with the distinctive coaxial rotor system of the Kamov Design Bureau. It was designed in the 1980s and adopted for service in the Russian Army in 1995. It is used as a heavily armed scout helicopter. It has a rescue ejection system, rare for helicopters. During the late 1990s, Kamov and Israel Aerospace Industries developed a tandem seat cockpit version, the Kamov Cog 50 minus Erdogan Russian, Turkish Erdogan, to compete in Turkey's attack helicopter competition. Kamov also designed another to seat variant, the Kamov Cog 52 Alligator, NATO reporting name, Hokumbi. The Cog 50 is the production version of the V 80 1 prototype. Production of the attack helicopter was ordered by the Soviet Council of Ministers on the 14th of December 1987. Development of the helicopter was first reported in the West in 1984, while the first photograph appeared in 1989. During operational testing from 1985 to 1986, the workload on the pilot was found to be similar to that of a fighter-bomber pilot, such that the pilot could perform both flying and navigation duties. Like other Kamov helicopters, it features Kamov's characteristic coaxial contra rotating rotor system, which removes the need for the entire tail rotor assembly and improves the aircraft's aerobatic qualities. It can perform loops, rolls and the funnel circle, a strafing. The omission of the tail rotor is a qualitative advantage, because the torque countering tail rotor can use up to 30% of engine power. The Kamov 50's entire transmission presents a comparatively small target to ground fire. For improved pilot survivability, the Ka 50 is fitted with the NPP's Vesta transle. Star K 37 800 ejection seat, which is a rare feature for a helicopter. Before the rocket in the ejection seat deploys, the rotor blades are blown away by explosive charges in the rotor disc and the canopy is jettisoned. Following initial flight testing and system tests, the Council ordered the first batch of helicopters in 1990. In November 1993, Four production helicopters were flown to the Army Aviation Combat Training Center at Torzhik to begin field trials. The president of the Russian Federation authorized the fielding of the Ka-50 with the Russian Army on the 28th of August 1995. The collapse of the Soviet Union led to a severe drop in defense procurement. This resulted in only a dozen Ka-50s delivered, instead of the planned several hundred to replace the Milmia-24. The single-seat configuration was considered undesirable by NATO. The first two KA-50 prototypes had false windows painted on them, which successfully misled the Western reports of the aircraft. To the point of some analysts even concluding that its primary mission was as an anti-air helicopter. From the time the Ka-50 was ordered in 1987, it was known that the limited nighttime capability of the original version would have to be upgraded to meet night attack requirements. Initially, COD 50N was meant to be fitted with the Mercury Low Light TVLL TV system. Due to lack of funding, the system was late and experienced reliability and capability issues. As a result, focus shifted to forward looking infrared flare systems. Kamov drafted a design in 1993 that included the Shval and sighting system with an infrared sensor. Many variants were tried. On some, the original SHKVAL was supplemented by a thermal imaging system, while others saw a complete replacement by the Sanchet Day and Night system also used on Ka 52. Some of the imagers included in the trials were manufactured by the French Sage and Thompson companies. Kamov was forced to consider foreign analogs as a temporary replacement for domestic imaging systems because of their slow development. Trials led to two final versions. Ka 50 and Night Shark and Ka 50 S Ball. The first Ka 50 hour, which was the eighth pre production aircraft, Bord 018, first flew on the 4th of March 1997. Armament It is armed with a single, forward facing 30mm auto cannon fixed to the right side of the fuselage. The Ka 50 also carries a mixture of air to ground anti tank guided missiles, along with 57mm rocket pods on both of its stub wings. The 30mm cannon can interchange between firing high explosive round. In the next video we will be talking about the two-seated version of the Ka-50, called the Ka-52. To then, bye.